Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be doing another best and worst of Shop Masse. So I did another video about a year ago where I went through a bunch of stuff that I had reviewed. Some of it was really good, some of it was really horrible. If you guys haven't seen that, I will go ahead and link it up here for you. Today I'm going to be going over the things that I've gotten from my most recent hauls, which were actually about six months ago. Tell you guys my thoughts, tell you what's the best, what's the medium, and what's the worst. The thing with Shop Miss A is you can get really awesome deals, but you have to know what to choose because if you're spending a dollar on something that's not really great, it's it's still a dollar that you could have put towards buying something that's better. But it's still kind of not as big of a risk because you're like, well, it's only a dollar, but if you bought 20 things that sucked, you still lost $20. Do you see what I'm saying? So Hopefully this will help you pick out things that will really be useful to you guys and you'll know what to save on and what to splurge on. And also they have added a AOA line which carries some items that are like $3, $5, etc. I'll also be reviewing some of those. So if they are from the more expensive line, I'll let you know. Otherwise they are from the $1 line. So let's start off with my favorites. So first off, just because it's so cute and it reminds me of my bunny rabbit, this is the Beauty Treats Bunny Lip Balm. And I just have to show you guys how freaking cute this is. So for those of you who don't know, I have a New Zealand white rabbit named Stevie or Steven. And we rescued him. He actually was in our front yard and we tried to find his owner and nobody ever came for him. So we decided to adopt him. He is adorable and so I keep this in my car and whenever I use this little lip balm whenever I'm in the car. I don't know what it is about being in a car, but for some reason it like when the air is blowing in the summer, it really dries out my lips. So I love having this on hand and it reminds me of Steven, which is so awesome. I have a whole like story on how we rescued him. If you guys are interested, I'll link that as well. But it's just cute and for a buck, like it's actually really good and moisturizing. So I really love this. Next are the liquid lipsticks. Now, not all of these are my favorite, but I will talk about some of them that I do really like. Now, if you do not like the feeling of liquid lipsticks, you probably won't like these. But if you're someone who does, these are ones that I do generally like. I actually like some of these colors better than some of my ColourPop. So I would probably say my favorite formula was from the AOA Studio. This is from the Dollar Line. This is the Wonder Matte. I do think they come in different finishes. This one is, I think, the Shop Miss A brand, and it's one that I got most recently. I only have one shade of this, but I would definitely purchase other shades, and it lasted a really long time. It does dry quite a bit darker than what it looks like in the tube, but I do really like the formula. Next, I like the Santee Liquid Lipsticks. I don't like all of them. This shade in 08 is what I'm wearing today. Just a really nice natural peachy coral, but I do have it topped with gloss. And so I do like most of the shades in this. I have quite a few pink berry shades. Most of those have all been really good. The other standout that I really love that I got a ton of and I actually wear quite a bit are the metallic lip glosses. So I have quite a few shades. I actually think I have more than this. And these are a little interesting numbered. They're like 1663, 1656. But all of these have been so good. I haven't been disappointed with any of these. And these are made by Clean Color. And these are the Madly Matte Metallic Lip Gloss. I also got one from Amuse. This is the Long Lasting Lip Color. And it's just called Kiss and Don't Tell. And this one was good as well. I actually have a full swatch video if you guys are interested. All these videos, of course, that I'm mentioning, I will link down below so you guys can check them out if you're interested in seeing all of the ones that I have and how they look on the lips. Next is the Star Sexy Kiss Lip Plumping Gel. And honestly, I like this. I don't know that it, it does give a little bit of plumping action, but it doesn't have any like tingle or like sting to it. But for a dollar, it actually is really nice. It's what I have on now. It's not sticky. It just gives a very slight plumping effect. But for those of you who are sensitive to plumpers where you're like, whoa, I don't like that stingy peppermint feeling. I mean, it's a dollar. So I definitely say that it's a win in my book. I like it over the liquid lipsticks just to kind of give it a 
glossy look. I don't mind a little plumping action either. You will find some $1 e.l.f. products on Shop Miss A. One of the lipsticks that I purchased was just this e.l.f. lipstick in Classy. It's going to be the same as you're going to find on e.l.f. any of the $1 products that they do carry. And this was a great find because I already had this. I loved it before. So it was a repurchase, but it was a good one. Before I move away from my favorite lip products, I'll talk about the lip liner. So this is AOA Studio as well. This is the Wonder Lip Liner. Guys, these are really nice. Like, they're very creamy. I definitely would get more colors of these. This is the one that goes to the shade Tees, which I forgot to mention this is the color Tees. But I did not find that their colors matched up perfectly. So it is a little bit more pink than this. But overall, for the formula, how long it lasted, I mean, for a dollar, like, seriously, Seriously a good choice. Next is the Wonder Cover AOA Studio. Now when I first used this, I used way too much and it kind of got cakey and creasy under my eyes. But if you take this and kind of shear it out a little bit and kind of work it into the skin, it gives really good coverage. Way better than other concealers that I've tried from Shop Miss A and it dries down pretty good. So a little bit goes a long way with this. It dries very quickly. So you have to move in like small areas, like put it under your eye, blend it out, put it under your eye, blend it out. You can't just go through and swipe and like, I wouldn't recommend this for contouring because it's not creamy like that. It does dry down a little dry. So if you have dry under eyes, you won't like it. But if you have a problem with things being like slidey or, or oily skin, you might really like this. And for a dollar, I it gives a great coverage. Next is a cream blush. This is from Clean Color. It's called the Paris Escape. This just has a really nice light pinky color. And it's very, very light. So it definitely would be great for your fair toned skin girls but you can also use it as a lip balm as well but I felt like it dried down nice it didn't stay tacky and it has a nice like bubblegum pink color so overall if, if you're a fan of cream blushes I like this one and it's nice that you could just throw it in a bag and just touch up your cheek touch up your lips in one product that seems pretty easy and versatile to me, so I really enjoyed that. Next is a product from LA Colors. Now, a lot of the things I've gotten from LA Colors on Shop Must Say have been kind of a mess, but this one was one that I actually liked. So this is the LA Colors Contour Stick, and it's just called Highlighter. Now, this isn't super pigmented, but it does build up to a very beautiful color, so I'm still gonna include it in my hit. It gives a very unique it, shade. It's almost silvery. But then in the light, it kind of goes rose gold. But I mean, for a dollar, if you're on a budget and you want your highlight to be popping, I mean, this is a dollar. And yeah, for a dollar, you can do a few more swipes. I definitely thought that it was a unique product to find. I've struggled finding good highlighters on Shop Missy, especially for the price. So if a dollar is your budget, then this will definitely get the job done. All right, I could not finish out the highlights of Shop Masse without talking about the brushes from AOA Studio. I love these brushes. They are so good. I am seriously impressed. And I will tell you, I know there's a lot of people who don't like Morphe. And this is not about whether you like Morphe or not, or if you think they're great quality or not. But honestly, like this is a Morphe brush. This is a... AOA brush like I feel like the density and stuff is not that far off I feel like they're secure so I mean if you like that cheaper kind of Morphe price range this is even cheaper these are one dollar like I did notice that there was some brushes like the fan brushes that weren't quite as thick here's my morphe one for comparison versus my aoa but i mean as far as application i'm not getting a ton of shedding and it still applies highlighter very beautifully i mean i've got blush i've got foundation a lot of these are dirty and we'll just ignore that because i use them and the foundation brush is really good so honestly brushes are awesome all right well, we need to talk about this palette. So the things in here are a little more expensive. This is from the AO A squared two line. A, uh, I never figured out what, what it's really called, but they made a magnetic palette. And guys, this is so affordable and it is such a good quality. The shadows actually stick in here really good. No problem with anything falling out. I love this. If you have loose things hanging around, 
highly recommend it. So the things I'm going to talk about from here is first the blush. So this is in the blush flare. It's what I'm wearing today. It wears a decent amount of time. It's very pigmented, but not too pigmented where I'm going to make myself look like a clown. And it's, it's a beautiful shade. It's a nice matte blush and I really like it. Next, if I could give this an A plus, I would. If I could take all these things besides the brushes, but like if I had to pick my very favorite thing that I purchased from Shop Massey ever, it would be this highlighter. This is the highlighter in pearls. Now, this is a little more expensive, so that's why I still kept the other highlighter in there because for a dollar, I still think it's one of your best bets. This one I think is about $3, but guys, seriously, this is so creamy. It's what I have on. It applies like butter on the skin. Mm, this is amazing. The next thing is the pearl and the lusters. I don't really know what the difference of these because they're both shimmery and they're both amazing. The creaminess, I mean, I touch these and they almost feel like a cream. They go on so beautifully, so pigmented. I mean, I want to get all of these, all of these in this size. I definitely recommend these for the price. I think these are about $2.50. They are seriously amazing. And actually, they're amazing without the price. Like even if they were $7, they would still be amazing. All right, so now let's go to the wah wah. Like I like them, I'll use them, but they're not my favorite type of products. And I'll tell you why. First off is the Santee Juicy Crayon. There's nothing super wrong with this. It just didn't wow me. It's just like, yeah, it's it's okay. Um, it's a nice bubblegum pink. I've worn it a few times. It kind of clung to dry patches a little bit and it kind of has a fruity smell. It's not something I feel like I'm reaching for. It's not that it's wrong. It, there's nothing like super long wearing about it and it's not like super moisturizing. It's just kind of meh. So, it's good. I mean, I, I've worn it. It's a pretty color. It just wasn't like one of those like stand out like, woohoo, that's my favorite thing ever kind of lip products. Next is this Prisma blush. It is a beautiful blush. It's very similar to Flare actually. It has a little bit of satinness, but it did come out of the pan when I w purchased it. Honestly, I never made the effort to glue it back in because I just leave it in the drawer. It's a nice pink. It's not quite as pigmented as the other but it does have a slight satin finish. I do have other Shop Miss A blushes I like a bit, little bit more. That's why this one is going to the medium pile instead of the favorite pile. Okay, next are a couple of items that also go in my little, I don't wanna call it Z palette, but magnetic palette. The first one is the matte shadows. Unfortunately, the matte shadows were just okay for me. I, if I was paying a dollar for these, I would feel a little bit better, but for $3, I just feel like they're okay. I definitely feel like there's other matte shadows that you can buy that are gonna be a little better. They're not bad, they're not terrible, but I just didn't find that same wowing effect that I did from the shimmers. It's like you touch the shimmers and you're like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. And then you touch the mattes and you're like, hmm. So I probably wouldn't purchase any more of the mattes because I have other mattes that are like creamy and buttery that I'd rather reach for versus the shimmers where I definitely would purchase more of those. The next one is the highlighter. This is a gorgeous color, but for some reason it's just not as strongly pigmented as the pearl highlighter. This is in Celestial. It's a very unique kind of duochrome pink highlight. And when you build it up, the color is quite pretty, but just in one swipe, it's just not as pigmented. I definitely feel like it takes a little more work to get the color to show up, but it's still a beautiful shade. So if you're someone who's a little shy with the highlighters, you want something that's less like beaming to outer space, then you might really like this. But because it's not as pigmented, I put it in the okay pile. Next is my Makeup Essentials Contour Kit. Now, I like this. I like it, but I'll be honest. When it comes between grabbing towards this and grabbing my IBY Highlight and Contour Palette I got from BoxyCharm, I grab for this every time. I mean, honestly, is it the world's best highlight and contour? No, but it says it's supposed to be worth $30. I got it as a free gift, but they actually have these on there now selling them for a dollar. It's kind of crazy that you get this for a dollar. Like it probably should be in the winner category, 
just for the fact that you're getting a whole contour kit for one dollar. Like, how does that even happen? But I, it's still not like my very, very favorite. Like, if I wasn't thinking about the price, would I still say it was my favorite kind of thing? So it's still on the high end of the mediums. It's it's pretty good. It's got a decent pigmentation. And if you guys are just starting out in contouring, I still think it's worth a buck. I mean, a buck, seriously, like. All right, now for a few things that were just kind of poos for me. The first one was probably my own fault for ordering. These are the Kara eyelashes. I don't know what I was thinking. These are giant. I could wear them on like Halloween or something, but they are just so big and I just didn't realize on the website that they're so big. So I'm not saying that they're a fail, like they're a horrible product. These are in 199. I just want to let you know if you're looking at these and thinking they look normal that they're extremely long and extremely giant. So just so you know, I've never worn these. I don't really foresee other than Halloween a reason why I'd use these. I could take the effort of trimming them, but I have other ones that work. So if you're looking at the care lashes, maybe not get the 199 unless you're wanting like crazy extreme lashes. Because if you do, then the your girl. The last one is the Santee Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color 07. This nude, I mean, I'm fair skin, even in the winter. This was just a horrible shade for me. You can see it if you guys watched my lips watch video. I don't know why, but it's like it took every little dry patch and crevice on my lips and made it look like dead, shriveled skin. And the color which is horrible for me. It was really streaky, it was patchy, like I couldn't get it on evenly. I don't know if it's just the lightness of the color, but I could not get this to work for me whatsoever. So for me, it was a total fail. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, what are your favorite things that you've gotten from Shop Miss A? Have you made any purchases recently? Are there things that you've tried out that you think I need to try out? If so, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.